Hi, this is Vijay Kumar and today's session we will see how to create menus. There are two types of menus in uh, D2K, one is the main menu and another one pop up menus. We will see both, first we will create main menu, next we will see pop up menu. So, menu is a, a main menu is a separate module, it is a separate module. Like if you see this, so, here also there is a menu. So, this is one menu, this menu contains some items. Like if you say file, file is a main menu item, but when you click this file menu, you will see the uh, sub menu. Next, uh, new is a sub menu item, again when you click this new, again another menu is displayed. Okay. So, I want to create this, I want to create this uh, menu in my application. So, for this you need to create a separate module that is called menu module. So, up to now we created form module and let us see menu module. How to create this menu module? In this object navigator select menus click create button. When you click the create button, so one menu module is created. So, then after creating this menu module, next I want to design the menu like I want to create main menu items and I want to create a sub menu, I want to design the menu items. For designing this menu items, uh, one separate editor is provided that is called menu editor. Okay. For designing this menu, a separate editor is there that is called menu editor. Then how to go to the menu editor? To go to the menu editor, go to tools menu editor. So, tools select this menu editor then go to the menu editor. Here we can create men, menu items, menu items like uh, for example, so we can create menu items. So like I want to create two menu items, my application contains two menu items, one is called block, another one is called record. Like I want to create two menu items, one is block and another one is record. And uh, see item name. I am typing this item name as block. When user select this menu item block and I want to show some sub menu items, one is clear, I want to clear the block, I want to go to the next block and I want to go to the previous block. Okay? I want to go to the next block and I want to go to the previous block. So, when user selects block menu item, I want to create some sub menu items. How to create this sub menu items? For creating this sub menu items, so, there is a button here that is create down button and create right. There are two buttons available here, one is create down, another one create right. When user selects block, I want to show some three menu items. So, I am creating three sub menu items, one for clear, one for next, one for previous. So, say this is previous, this is next and this is like uh, suppose clear, clear block. Okay. Next, I want to create another menu, I want to create another menu item that is for record, that is for record. Okay. Then, so create down, uh, create right, so create right, let us say record. So, under this I want to create some sub menu items, one is for insert, one is for insert, one is for update, one is for delete. Okay, next. Then, so one is block and another one is what record. Okay, uh, let's see. Suppose for example, I want to create one more. So for this create right, like say action. Uh, like say for example, in this I want to say save. Next, I want to create one more exit. Save and exit. Okay. So this is my menu structure menu structure is created, but after creating this structure, when user selects clear button, clear menu item, then the block should be clear. Okay, we need to write code for this. When user selects clear 
menu item, the block should be cleared. When user selects next menu item, it should go to the next block. When user selects previous, it should go to the previous block. Then what we have to do is we have to write the code for this menu items. And how to write the code for this menu items? To write the code for this menu items, then go to uh, select this menu item, go to PLSQL editor. If you want to write the code, then go to the PLSQL editor. So then, so there is a built in for clearing the block. So clear underscore block, there is a built in procedure for clearing the block, clear underscore block, compile this next close, next one. So select this next and go to PLSQL editor, next underscore block. So then it goes to the next block, compile this close and previous PLSQL editor, previous underscore block, now compile this close. When user selects what insert, then I am writing a code for insert underscore record, insert underscore record. So click this compile close. When user selects update, then update underscore record, compile this close. And user select this delete, I want to delete the record, delete underscore record semicolon, compile this close. When user selects save, I want to commit the operation. So commit, command is commit, compile, close. When user selects exit, I want to exit from this uh, run form. How to exit from this form? There is a built in that is exit underscore form. So select this exit underscore form, close. Okay. So menu is ready, menu module is ready. Okay. So you design the menu items. So like your menu contains three menu items, main menu items. So there are some sub menu items. Next after this, after creating this, next we need to compile it. Then go to file, administration, compile, compile file. So the code is also compiled. One menu module is created. So the name is menu one and this code is also compiled. So next this is module three. Okay, menu module 3. I want to attach this to the form. After creating this menu module, I want to attach this menu module to the form. So if you want, you can change this name also. That is okay, menu 10 something, menu 10. So file again, I am administration, compile file, okay, menu 10. So menu module is created, that is menu 10. I want to attach this to the form. Then how to attach this to the form? So one form is already there, that form is MP form. So attach this form, menu to this form. To attach this, go to the form properties, select this form, go to the properties, go to property palette. In the property palette, by default, this menu module, there is a property called menu module. By default, this property is set to default smart bar, okay, by default this menu module is set to default. So that is why default menu is displayed. But I do not want the default menu, I want to display my own menu. So then what, what you have to say? You have to say a path, give the path. So where is that menu? So this you created menu, where this is saved? This is saved in what? This is saved in uh, D2K. This is saved as D2K folder. This is saved in F drive D2K folder. Okay. Then. Now, now go to this EMP form and go to this property palette in this. So F drive next folder name is D2K and menu 10 dot MMX menu module executable. What is actually it is saved as MMB. When you save it, it is saved as MMB, menu module binary. But after compiling this menu module, one file is created, that file is MMX file. So I am giving that MMX file. So this default, now menu module is set to F colon D2K menu 10 dot MMX. Next, run this form. So go to this form, like to attach this menu to the form, select this form, go to the property palette. In the property palette, so just give the path, what that path is F colon D2K 
uh, what the menu D2K, our menu module name is menu 10 dot MMB, menu module binary. Next, so there is a property called menu module. So, to this property, set this uh, file path f colon D2K menu 10 dot MMB. Next, now run this form module. So, I am running this form module. Now, let us see if you see this. So, what is what menu is displayed appeared? So, our menu is displayed, okay. The menu that we created, so that is displayed. When you select block, then it is showing the clear next previous. When you select record, it is showing the insert, update, and delete. When you select action, it is showing save and exit. So, suppose here, for example, say I am saying block next, okay, it is going to the next block block previous, it is going to the previous block. Suppose action save, so it is saved, action exit, so then form is exited. Whatever the code you have written, that code is executed. And this is called creating main menu item and attaching that main menu to the form. But there is one more menu is called, what that menu is pop up menu, okay. There is one more menu is called, that is pop up menu. And uh, what is pop up menu is? Pop up menus are displayed when you user clicks what uh, when user uh, selects right button, mouse right button. Like for example, see this here I am selecting this CMB form, click the mouse right button. So, then one menu is displayed. What is this menu is called pop up menu? So, I want to create this pop up menu, okay. Then, like for example, in my application, like suppose here there is a department name. So, I will department name, in the department name, I will click the mouse right button, like what do you want to show? I want to show the pop up menu with uh, three items, cut, copy, paste, okay, then. So, let us see, first create the pop up menu. So, select this pop up menu, click create button. So, menu is created, what is this menu is menu 7. Now, I want to design this menu. So, then to go, to design this menu, go to the menu editor. So, in the menu editor, so like create the menu items, what is that is? I want uh, three menu items, one is cut, another one copy and another one paste, cut, copy, paste. Now, when user selects cut, so the text should be, the selected text should be removed, okay. Whatever the text you select, the text should be removed. Then you have to write the code for cut, then so select this cut, go to PLSQL editor here you write it, but we do not need to write the code for this cut, copy, paste, okay. And because uh, these items are called magic items, already code will be written for this magic items, we do not need to write the code for this magic items. So, then here go to cut property palette, in this property palette there is a call magic item, okay. So, menu item type. Here there are some properties, one property is menu item type. By default this menu item type is set to plain, but it is not plain. So, I want to set this to magic item. So, this card copy paste, these items are called magic items. So, set this menu item type to magic and uh, you want to set this to which magic item. So, it is showing the list of magic items available and from this list of magic items, select the magic item. So, what the magic item is cut, okay. Then I created one menu item that is cut and it is set to the magic, which magic item cut. And we do not need to write the code for this uh, uh, PLSQL, okay, null, command type is null. Next, copy, so select this copy, then go to property palette and magic item, menu item type is uh, magic and what is the magic item is copy. Next, so we do not need to write the code for this PLSQL. So, command type set the command type to null. Again, same thing repeat it for some other items. Then magic it is paste and command type is null. Next. So, see compile this code, then compile. Next, close this. Next, after this, I want to attach this to which item you want to attach. For example, I want to attach it to department name. Then here in blocks, there is a block department block. In the department block, there is a department name. 
So, go to the properties of department name. In this properties, there is a, a property called pop up menu. By default, this pop up menu is set to null. Okay? So, I want to attach this pop up menu to the department name. So, go to the properties of department name. There is a property called pop up menu. By default, it is set to null. Now, set this to menu 7. Set this to menu 7. Then, next, after you set this to menu 7, run this form and uh, see the changes. Uh, like, suppose here, entered some department name, entered some text. So, I will select this. Okay? I will select this menu item. So, I am selecting some text and right click. When you right click, so that pop up menu is displayed. So, here cut and copy is what enable. Like when I select this cut, so the selected text is what uh, removed. Selected text is removed and suppose here uh, right click, so say paste. Okay? This is what uh, how to create pop up menus and how to create main menus and pop up menus and attaching this pop up menus to the uh, form and items. Okay? So, thank you, thank you for watching this video.